In order to add and subtract rational expressions, we again want to review a basic arithmetic concept, which is if we had two fractions, a over b plus c over b, we could add this together as a plus c over b, because in this case, each of these fractions had that same common denominator. When we merge them together, we keep just that single common denominator underneath that entire new expression. When we look at example 8, both of these expressions have x minus 3 as their denominator. Since we already have common denominators, we can just merge these two expressions together as x plus 6 plus 4x minus 7 all over that common denominator of x minus 3. In this case, the parentheses in the numerator don't really have any purpose. There's nothing to distribute through. So we can just look at adding like terms, which would give us 5x minus 1 over x minus 3. In example 9, we again have common denominators. So we can simply combine these two expressions into one. In this case, we would have 2x minus the quantity x minus 5 all over that common denominator of 7x minus 4. Nothing happens with the 2x, but we do have a negative now to distribute through that x minus 5, which will make this minus x plus 5 still over that common denominator. Now that we've distributed that negative through, we can simply combine like terms to get x plus 5 all over 7x minus 4. In example 10, we have two denominators which seem very similar, but what we have is x minus 2 and 2 minus x, so they are a little bit different from each other. What we can do is factor a negative out of this second denominator to rewrite this as the opposite of x minus 2. And then we can see that our least common denominator would be the opposite of x minus 2. That means in order to add these two expressions together, we need to update one or both fractions to have that common denominator. In this case, that means that this first fraction will have to get multiplied by negative 1 over negative 1, so that we're introducing that negative into the denominator. This will give us negative 7 over the opposite of x minus 2, plus x over the opposite of x minus 2. Now that those denominators are the same, we can merge those two fractions together and write this as negative 7 plus x over the opposite of x minus 2. From here, we're sort of technically done, but there are a few different routes we can take to simplify this expression. If we start off with simply flipping around the two terms in the numerator, we could rewrite this as x minus 7 over the opposite of that quantity x, uh, x minus 2. And then that negative that's in the denominator can be brought out as just a negative in front of the entire fraction. Or that negative could be distributed then through the expression that we have in the numerator. Alternatively, we could factor a negative out of the expression in the numerator to get the opposite of the opposite of 7 minus x all over the opposite of x minus 2. In this case, the negative over negative would cancel, which would leave us with 7 minus x over x minus 2. Or as a third option, 
what we could do is rewrite the expression in the numerator as x minus 7, just changing the order of those two terms. And in the denominator, distribute that negative through to give us 2 minus x. So essentially what I'm saying is we have a few different ways of representing a final solution here, just depending on how uh, we take care of that negative that we had in the denominator. It's just a good idea to be aware that um, these similar solutions are all mathematically equivalent, just different ways of rearranging those different pieces.